In this short video, we'll look at simulating a two degree freedom nonlinear system with Simulink. This is a system x dot equal to minus xy plus u, y dot equal to minus y divided by x squared plus 1 plus d. d is a constant offset, u is the input, x and y are the two dynamic variables. Uh, so, obviously, it is a nonlinear equation and it is coupled uh, two ways here. Both equations have x and y coupled non-linearly. So how do we do this? Uh, first we draw the equations graphically and that's how it looks. So x, x dot integrated once you get x. Similarly you have y dot integrated once you get y. Now this function here takes in two inputs uh, x and y multiplies it and sends it out subtracted from u and the result is x dot. This one here it takes in two inputs uh, y and x computes y divided by x squared plus 1 that gets subtracted from d which is a constant and that equal to y dot. Let's look at this. I already have a partially constructed uh, model this is for your x, your x dot, x dot integrated once, x is for y, y dot integrated once becomes y. Now let's go and start inputting the nonlinear part. So for that we use a nonlinear function block, user defined function block. Uh, flip the block around. Uh, but there is only one input it needs to have two inputs and how do we handle that so for that we use this thing here the signal uh, combining block so let's go to signal routing uh, bus creator and we flip that around and let's stick it in here the input goes like so one input is generated from x another from y like that another from y this is x this is y so the first one is x second one is y and i'll say u1 times u2 u1 times u2 this is u1 this is u2 and that gets I believe subtracted from that similarly you can build another block for the other function right here flip the block around and similarly get signal routing here too flip the block around connect this and I have uh, x and I have y and this is u2 divided by u1 squared plus 1 and that gets subtracted from d and minus 1 and let's say d equal to just 1 and let's run this There you have the simulation. And that's the end of this lecture.